You know, Ray, with you by my side, I feel like I could take on any of life's challenges. <laughs> Whoa, okay. Nobody said anything about me being by your side. Just so we're clear. Good morning, Cupcakes. It is a beautiful morning here on the Freedom Farm. I hope your day is going wonderfully. So the plan for today's episode is today is Dirk's birthday, which I actually remembered just this morning. So let's go ahead and get Dirk's birthday gift. And, uh... Let me make sure that I didn't miss it. Yeah, okay. So Dirk's birthday this morning. And then tomorrow is the Bazaar Day, and then the day after that, we are going to be... We are going to be trying to trigger Freya's Yellow Heart event. And that's probably going to be it for this episode. There is, a, there is an animal festival on Monday, specifically the Chicken Festival. But I don't think we're going to be able to get to it this episode. Oh, also, remember what I said about... There being a corn harvest before the next bazaar? Yeah. Turns out that was true. And what we have here is two star corn. Nice. And the last one should be two and a half star, I think. Yes. Two and a half star. And I'm hoping to get that to three or even three and a half star before the end of the season. Before we go any further, I would like to remind you to do that whole YouTube algorithm stuff everybody's always bragging about, the like and the comment and the subscribe and all that kind of stuff. It helps me out, and it helps my videos show up in your inbox more consistently. So, uh, please don't forget to do that. So I finally looked up how the whole training points and friendship points thing works, and how fast horses are and whatnot. Your horse's speed depends on its friendship points, not its training points. What its training points do is it increases the rate at which you gain friendship points when you take it on the track. So at zero training points, you gain five friendship points. And then... For every... every or for every star of training that you have, you gain one extra friendship point. So, you start out with five at zero, and then there's and there's six, seven, eight, etc., all the way up to 15 per trip to the track. The only use for training points, as near as I can tell, is to just increase your friendship with the, your horse faster. Hey, Ray, what are you up to, taking a break from work? What I am up to is giving you your birthday present. Oh, what's this? How exciting. You remembered my birthday. Thanks, this is nice. Oh, Ray, hello. Hello there, eh? Feel free to ask me any questions. Pumpkin pudding, yes. I was actually a little worried that it was a mistake to go for the pumpkin pudding, or for, to go for the ice cream instead of the pumpkin pudding last episode, but no. Eh. Gotta get these to Lloyd, so he'll like us and let us marry his sister. Hey, nice. Thanks. And then, have ourselves a nice sip of tea. Again, Sherry, not actually Lloyd's sister, but he kind of thinks of her like a sister, which makes the fact that he's trying to marry her really weird. Just a quick reminder, if you are watching this on the main channel within about an hour and a half to two hours of it going live, that means that I am currently streaming the recording of the next episode over on the streaming channel. A link to that will be down in the description. So if you could come over and say hi, I would appreciate that. It's time to begin! Is everyone ready? We've got a lot of eager customers today! Don't let them leave disappointed! The goal for today's bazaar is to earn 80,000 to 100,000 G! Good luck! The bazaar is now open! Yeah, I noticed that I've been doing Felix's voice wrong for literally the entire series so far, so I have been trying to fix it. It's not been going great, but, you know, progress. Little, little bits of progress every day. Air butter! Where tea? Radishes. Hey, Ola, could you give me this corn seeds? Uh, sure. Oh, thank you. I'm actually a secret critic. Just kidding. I just like getting stuff for free. Um, 
Excuse me, do you know where the seed stand is? It's on the lower side. Oh, I see. Thank you. There, there are seeds right in front of you. I'm, I'm just saying. Better quality tomato seeds than you'll find at Rolls. Not that this is a competition. Tomatoes! Milk! Eggs! Mint! Tomato seeds! You know, I seem to remember... Uh, seeds being harder to sell than the produce itself, but uh, that's not seeming to be the case. Walnuts, tomatoes, eggs, small coins, some sort of bug, I don't know, cicada. Mommy, Daddy, where are you? I'll help you find them. Really? Thank you. Hey, that's- it's my mommy, thanks. And no time was lost whatsoever. Hey, Antoinette, are you here to buy something? Please do. Oh, I don't have enough money for this tomato. How about for half price? How about for free? You can't have everything. How about for free? Oh, I couldn't, but thank you. I'll come back later. Oh. Half price is uh, apparently the way to go for that one. We're at like, what, 35? Reputation, and this is the last set of stuff we have out. Although, not really selling too fast. So we might have some time, I don't know. We might actually... Uh, oh good, I was just looking for Lloyd's stand. Down to the right. Thank you. You're quite helpful. Okay. Hey, thank you for buying stuff. But, like, shouldn't you know my now? I mean, it makes sense that she'd be looking for Lloyd Stan since he sells, you know, minerals and stuff and she makes accessories. Like, necklaces and things like that. But, shouldn't she know by now? Okay. And that's that. We might get third. Let's go check what everybody's got. And, uh, yeah, I think what- I think how roll stand works is that at the start of the season, he, like, randomly picks two different seeds, or one seed in the first year, and then two seeds in the second year. And then he sticks with those all season. I'm pretty sure that's how it works. I want to buy, I actually want to buy some copper. Sure, I'll just go ahead and take 10. And then I want to buy some mithril. Six of that? Yeah. Okay. Um, and I think that should be good enough to get our hoe all the way up to uh, five stars. As far as the copper goes, I wanted to buy that so that we can upgrade the medium fishing rod. We need some silver for that, but... Yeah. Oh, hello. Welcome to me, food stand. I think we're just gonna... So what we're going to do from now on is we're just going to get all of the recipes that we don't have. Instead of just going one per day. And anytime the cafe uh, doesn't have any new recipes, well, we can just head into storage and pick out something that we got at the bazaar. Thanks. I'll throw in the recipe for you, too. Oh, I see. Well, stop by anytime you're hungry. Um, let's see. Is there anything here that I need? No. I mean, I wouldn't imagine, but you never know. Welcome to my cafe. That'll be 100G for each fish paste. That, um, 
That doesn't sound like a very delicious thing to be eaten, but apparent, but I don't know. Apparently, some people do like that. Roasted corn. And lavender tea. Nice. Fancy. Alright, let's have some carpaccio with our tea. Mmm. Let's have another, another sip of that tea, shall we? Mmm. Delicious. Thank you, Joan, and thank you, Claire. Welcome, welcome. Would you like your fortune read? It's just 100 G. Sure, tell me my fortune. Abracadabra, what fate lies in wait for you? You should avoid any sort of competition today. Well, probably good advice, given the fact that we weren't able to get very high on the sales rankings. So we are going to wrap six of these summer tea leaves for Lloyd because that will help increase our friendship faster. And I think blue is his favorite color. Could be wrong. All right, finally done with that. Now, let's stop by Lucky Lotto and play a few times, five times to be specific. And isn't a winner. Cool. Not off to a good start. Hey, it's a winner! Second place! Not bad. White breadcrumbs. Huzzah. I'm not even sure if that covers the cost of that ticket. Hey, fourth place. <laughs> what, a branch? Yeah, it, it actually is. Okay. Let's see, how many stars? Two stars. I'm so happy. And fourth is, ooh, first place prize, nice! Red wine, ooh. Nice, that actually might cover the cost of the ticket. Of, of all the tickets, actually. And then nothing. Hello there, welcome to Isaac's Info Center. Would you like to know all kinds of inside info, Ray? Well, this is just a rumor, really. So, how do you like the bazaar? There's lots of stalls and products. Each stall offers its own unique items. Take the time to look around at each stall. <laughs> That's the advice! <laughs> look around the bazaar! Wow, okay. <laughs> Busy, don't work too hard. For me, hesitant to open it. Hey, nice, thanks. So if that's not his favorite color, then it, it, it increases the amount of friendship we get from the gift by... Oh, no, that covers half the cost of the total ticket. So, altogether, that pays for four of the Lucky Lotto tickets. So, I guess then we get the branch for 300G. Okay. Yeah, but we might get third. Even though we didn't meet the goal, we might get third. We're gonna hold off on upgrading the hoe until our, uh, um, until the pumpkins are, until we can harvest the pumpkins and uh, replant them. Because uh, we will need the hoe tomorrow, def definitely, for the radishes that we're gonna plant. And I think we're probably gonna need it the day after. Wait, no. We're gonna need them for the for the radishes that we plant, and I also think we're going to need them need it for the pumpkins tomorrow. I think the pumpkins should be harvestable tomorrow. If not, they'll be harvestable the next day. All right. Sorry, I had to get my brain working. It's, it's, it's hard. It's like starting up a lawnmower. You know, you got to pull the cord, and it, it takes a few tries. Oh, wow, an herb salad. Thank you. I love it. So... Even though Sherry's at Red Heart, she's still not at maximum friendship. You don't need to be at maximum friendship to marry. Uh, you only need to be at Red Heart. But it's good to have that anyway. I mean, you could just build that up by talking with her every day for two months. Hey, 
<laughs> or probably slightly less than two months because of all the festivals and whatnot. But I figure why not, you know, give her gifts as well. You know, it's not, it's not like, it isn't a required thing. Like, you don't get any benefit from being at Max Friendship versus from being at uh, Red Heart. But, you know, again, this is not, this playthrough is not like super hardcore, you know, let's do, let's research everything, let's, you know, min-max, all this kind of stuff. You know, if you play Harvest Moon that way, you know, that's your choice. Uh, I don't think that's necessarily the best way to play it, but you do you. All right. Let's try... I'm gonna try and get Felix's voice right. Can't guarantee that it will happen, though. Great! Looks like everybody is here! It's time to announce the bizarre results! Our top three earners in third place with 76,440G! Is that us? I believe that's us. Ray, congratulations! In second place with 82,000 G! Wilbur Store, congratulations! And in first place with 94,000 G! Jones Store, congratulations! And the person with the happiest customers was... Joan! The customer said your service was top-notch! Didn't give enough stuff away for free. You ruled on the town proud! Keep up the good work! For being in the top three, Ray will receive a token of thanks! A black egg! I hope you like it! Oh, nice. A goal to be the best bazaar on the continent is now getting close. We can do this. Let's keep this pace going. Our goal for the next bazaar is 80,000 to 100,000 G. We can do it. Well, that's all for now. Start getting ready for the next bazaar. Cool. So a black egg is something you get from a silky chicken and usually... You can't get that until year three. And perfect. Yes. Maybe a new high score? A new high score! So because we have one training star with red hair, we might have two by now, but I'm gonna base this off of one. Because we have one uh, training star with red hair, we gain six friendship points. Matcha has a very interesting flavor, if you've never had it. Um, I don't recommend drinking it straight. Mm -hmm. I'm in a good mood today. Is it because you're going to show me your yellow heart event? Anyway, uh, yeah, I recommend drinking it in like a smoothie kind of thing. Have a nice sip of tea with this. Mmm. Delicious. Alright, so going back to what I was saying about matcha. I recommend drinking it in kind of a smoothie thing with like uh, milk and banana. Um, it's really good for you. Um, but the flavor... Some people can be off-put by the flavor. Uh, it's best to get the ceremonial grade matcha and to use it pretty quickly because it degrades very, very fast. It degrades in quality very fast. Yes. Freya's Yellow Heart event, late at night, on a Sunday, in her house. Hello, Ray. Working late? Good for me, right? I see. That must be tough. I'm actually working late, too. I'm going over my research. Next week, we'll be busy. It's 
a little weird, but I kind of like it when my job gets really tough. That's when I really feel like my skills are being put to the test. Hey, Ray, do you like working on your farm? Yes, it's a fun challenge. Or sometimes it's too hard. It's not really surprising which gets you friendship points and which one loses you friendship points, so yes, it's a fun challenge. Oh yeah? Fun, huh? I've always imagined that it must be a lot of hard work. But it sounds like you're up to the challenge, huh? I like that about you, Ray. <laughs> I guess we both like to be challenged. I hope I never stop growing and learning new things. I don't ever want to feel like I'm just complacently treading water. You know, Ray, with you by my side, I feel like I could take on any of life's challenges. <laughs> Whoa, okay. Nobody said anything about me being by your side. Just so we're clear. Well, that's going to be it for this episode. I hope the rest of your day is fantastic, and I will see you later. Bye.